Thanks for tuning in to this virtual concert entitled by the wonderful Miss uh, Linda Ketron, Love in the Time of COVID, which I'm assuming is a nod to Love in the Time of Cholera. So you can expect a lot of unrequited love songs in this session. So the topic of love is multifaceted and pulls at the corners of the mind, the heart, the spirit, and the emotions. So I've selected quite a few um, songs for you today that represent different aspects of love. The earliest of the songs is from the mid-15th century, and the newest one is from 1959. But we're not going to go in order of date. We're going to go in order of topic. So the first two songs I'm going to push together in a little medley. They are fiddle tunes, dance tunes from the Southern Appalachians. And in that tradition, the fiddlers would often yell out verses to keep the dancers amused. And over time, those verses get codified. And so we're going to hear some of those in the two songs, Love Somebody and Sourwood Mountain. Let's make a big Venn diagram. If a, a text tells a story, it's going to be a ballad. And we could spend two semesters on ballads, old and new, uh, false and true. That's one category, huge. Then there's another category of songs that have an emotion. And they can range from praise to lament. 
it's a huge category. These are the lyric songs. So, so far we have the ballads and the lyric songs. The third category are songs that don't have either of those purposes. So they're a little bit more on the trite side. So the, the two songs that I just sang fall into that category. These are the catalog songs. So as you know, in a Venn diagram, there are points of intersection. In fact, most of the songs fall in the middle of those three big circles. So they're, they're dabbling in several um, different areas at one time. So one such song is a song that dates from the mid-15th century and is thought to be one of the oldest songs in the English language. And this is called the Riddle Song. Some of you may recall um, that this song was sung in the movie Animal House by the young man sitting on the staircase in the toga party with his guitar. It comes from the tradition of ballads that have riddles in them. The Riddle Song. to the category of Love Conquers All. It is the story of a woman of means, rather wealthy, who meets up with the gypsy and decides this is what she's going to do and she forsakes everything to be with him. It's got a really great chorus and it goes like this. He whistled and he sang till the green wood rang, and he won the heart of a lady. So if you want to join in, whether you're masked or unmasked, whatever, there's lots of choruses to practice on.
considered the mother of American folk music. She was the youngest of 13 children and lived in Viper, Kentucky, which is in Hazard County. She had an incredibly rich repertoire from children's songs to, you know, 30 verse ballads, just so rich. Um, and she also wrote some songs. So one of the songs that she wrote is called One I Love, and it's a real favorite of mine. This is the story of a woman who is pining for her lover uh, because he was so poor that he had to go across the mountains to make his fortune, and she is just missing him.
And it's over the mountains he must go Because his fortune is so low With an aching heart and a troubled mind For leaving his love so far behind One I love So this last song I'm going to play accompanying myself on the Appalachian Mountain dulcimer is another of these um, fiddle and dance tunes, a catalog song. Um, but it's actually a love song as well. And it is, um, it was first published in 1915 in the Journal of American Folklore. But boy, has it been taken up by bluegrass and old timey musicians who have just run away with this song. Shady Grove is the name of it. In fact, uh, Jerry Garcia of uh, Grateful Dead fame and his pal, uh, David Grisman, made this the title song of their album or CD that came out, I think in the mid-90s, maybe 1996, called Shady Grove. So it's the story, kind of, sort of, of a young man who is um, setting out his sights on a woman and hopes to marry her.
Shady Grove. So this is the corded zither, otherwise known as the auto harp. That's a registered trademark name. The Carter family, that would be A.P. Carter, Sarah Carter, and Mother Maybell Carter. The Carter family was a, an enormous influence on the development of early country, uh, bluegrass, old-timey music. And uh, one of the songs that they recorded in the summer of 1933 was the song Gold Watch and Chain. Um, it is alluding to false, faded, and unrequited love. I'm sure that many of you have been to Asheville, North Carolina, yes? Well, uh, near there in the Blue Ridge chain, there is a hazy looking peak that's called Old Smoky. And this song, on top of Old Smoky, dates from 1841 and is considered a lonesome tune in the Southern Appalachians. On top of old smoky, all covered with snow, I lost my true lover from courting too slow. Now courting's a pleasure and parting is A false hearted lover is worse than a thief. For a thief will but rob you of all that you say, and the false hearted lover will send you to me. will be you and turn you to dust not a man in ten thousand can a poor girl trust for they'll love you and kiss you and tell you 
of your heart keeps. And the minute your back is turned, musical, The Sound of Music, hit Broadway. And the song Edelweiss from that musical was created for the uh, role of Captain Georg von Trapp uh, to sing. Now, given that in the movie version, Christopher Plummer was that character, and that he left this earth on February 5th, not too long ago, I thought it would be nice if we could sing along Edelweiss and uh, to honor him, as well as have a song about love of country, of homeland, Edelweiss. <laughs> that I ever learned as a young teenager is called I Know Where I'm Going. It is a, acclaimed both by Irish and Scottish musicians. Can't figure out who really has it, but it's um, over there. Anyway, it is the singing of a woman who is confident in her love of Johnny, who some say has a bad reputation. I know where I'm going, and 
in the category of love songs in general. Courtship songs can be so tender, so lovely, so satirical. They can be nasty. They can be funny and humorous. It's just a great category of songs. The song A Paper of Pins was collected by Alan Lomax in the summer of 1959 just east of Charlottesville, Virginia, in a town called Rugby. Estelle and Orna Ball were the singers, a husband and wife. So the husband's going to be over here, and the wife's going to be over here as I sing A Paper of Pins. Now, A Paper of Pins in the early days in this country meant that you were of means, because uh, this is a paper of uh, stainless steel sewing pins, so straight pins, and they were not a common everyday experience. So this is a rather fine gift to be offering somebody. I'll give to you a paper of pins to show you how my love begins. If you'll marry, marry me, if you'll marry me. I won't accept Nothing at all. No. 
The story, meaning a ballad, of Mr. Frog and Miss Mouse and their courtship is goes back to Elise, Elizabethan times, actually. And Alan Lomax, who collected the previous song, um, has alluded to the fact that he thinks that it is the most uh, well-known and widely distributed of all songs in the English language. In the United States alone, there are over 117 ways of singing this song, different variants. Um, the variant that we're going to hear today is from the singing of Almeida Granny Riddle, who lived in Heber Springs, Arkansas and had a fantastic repertoire and an incredible way with presentation of text. So much so that a folklorist by the name of Roger Abrams uh, wrote a book called Anglo-American Folk Song Singing Style and she was the main topic of the book. Uh, she's that highly regarded. So this is Froggy Went a Courtin, Almeida Riddle, but my version of her version. <laughs> Now Froggy went a court and a he did ride Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble Sword and a pistol buckle at his side Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble He mo hi mo ki mo kai mo rowdy rowdy red Rock stopped any winkle flannel go to yellow bugger Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble Oh, he rode right up to Miss Mousie's house. Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble. Says, please, Miss Mousie, won't you marry me? Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble. Sir, I cannot tell you that. You'll have to ask my Uncle Rat. Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble. He mo hi mo ki mo kai mo roundy roundy ray. Rock stopped any winkle flannel do the yellow bugger. Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble. Now Uncle Rat gave his consent Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble And the weasel wrote out the publishment Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble Hello, hi, mo, ki, mo, kai, mo, rowdy, rowdy, ray Rock stopped, any winkle flannel, go to yellow bugger Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble Now where will the wedding be? Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble Way down yonder in a hollow tree Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble Rock stop by Mr. Gamble. He mo hi mo ki mo kai mo rowdy rowdy ray. Rock stop any winkle flannel do the yellow bugger. Rock stop by Mr. Gamble. Now what will the supper be? Rock stop by Mr. Gamble. Buttercups and dewdrop tea. Rock stop by Mr. Gamble. First come in was a big white moth. She spread her wings for a tablecloth. Rock stop by Mr. Gamble. He mo hi mo ki mo kai mo rowdy rowdy ray. Rock stop any with the flannel doodle yellow bugger. Rock stop by Mr. Gamble. Now next come in was a big black gnat. Rock stop by Mr. Gamble and he sat down on old Uncle Rat. Rock stop by Mr. Gamble. He mo hi mo ki mo kai mo rowdy rowdy ray. Rock stop any with the flannel doodle yellow bugger. Rock stop. Mr. Gamble. Now Froggy went a swimming all across the lake. Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble and he got swallowed up by a big black snake. Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble. He mo hi mo ki mo kai mo rowdy rowdy ray. Rock stopped any winkle flannel do the yellow bugger. Rock stopped by Mr. Gamble. In keeping with the topic of animals and courtship, this is an English folk song called The Leatherwinged Bat or The Bird's Courting Song. And in the song there is a cast of birds and they are each commenting on courtship and love in rhyme. Visual aids. Hi, said the little brown leather-winged bat, I'll tell you the reason that, the reason that I fly in the nights because I've lost my heart's delight. 
Howdy dowdy diddlum day, howdy dowdy diddlum day, howdy dowdy diddlum day, hey day dee da I do do. Hi, said the little morning dove, I'll tell you how to regain your love. Quarter by night and quarter by day, never give her time. To say oh nay, howdy dowdy diddlum day, howdy dowdy diddlum day, howdy dowdy diddlum day, hey day dee da da do do. Hi, said the woodpecker sitting on a fence. Once I courted a handsome finch, but she got sulky and from me fled. Ever since then, my head's been red. Howdy dowdy diddlum day, howdy dowdy diddlum day. Hi, said the blue jay as she flew. If I were young, then I'd have two. If one got saucy and wanted to go, I'd get a new string for my bow. Howdy dowdy diddlum day. Howdy dowdy diddlum day. Howdy dowdy diddlum day. Hey day dee da do do. Hi, said the owl with eyes so big. If I had a hen, I'd feed her like a pig. But here I sit on a frozen lake, which causes my poor heart to ache. Howdy dowdy diddlum day, howdy dowdy diddlum day, howdy dowdy diddlum day, hey day dee da do do. For this penultimate song today, uh, we're returning to the Carter family. This is a song that they recorded in 1934. It's called The Lover's Return. It's about a couple who were former lovers who meet up again later in life. Um, I first heard this recording by the Red Clay Ramblers on their album that was a tribute to the Carter family. So it was just a whole album of Carter family songs called Meeting in the Air. I love that title because that's what this music is. It's music that exists in the air. It isn't in a particular key. Um, it doesn't belong in the straitjacket of notation. It's in the air. So the lovers return. Back our youth, the 
trusted them were yours my dear in perfect truth and yet I think I love you still as friend loves friend I love And finally, we have a sing-along. This song was recorded in 1939, but was made popular from Jimmy Davis's recording in 1940. You Are My Sunshine. It's one of Louisiana's many state songs. <laughs> Sunshine, my only sunshine. 
told me once, dear, you'd never leave me, that no one else could come between. But now you've left me for another. You have shattered all. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Oh, you never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't. Please don't take my sunshine away. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time.